right. Can't forget my hat. Hi guys. A few days ago, Bobby and I saw a video where, um, I forget the name of the YouTuber, but she made paintbrushes out of her cat's fur. And I happen to live with a few little creatures myself. So now, of course, I'm curious as to how their fur would work as a paintbrush. So I'm gonna try it. So I thought I'd try a dog too because I happen to have one handy. Look at that mat under her ear. Oh my goodness. Wee, what the heck a room? Hello. Hi, baby. Are you not feeling it? She doesn't really like brushies. Look, she's looking at it already. She's like, no, no. Oh, no. Ron just ran off because he was real confused about eating up in the realm, but... This is Mountain. Her name's actually Luna, but we just we call her Mountain because she's a little mountain woman. And she's she's definitely the softer of the two, but I feel like the, the cottony texture will make a bad paintbrush, but that's okay. That's been a okay. That's the experiment, huh, Mountain? I'm sorry, Mountain. I know I'm disturbing you while you eat, huh? You guys have never used the Ferminator before? I, I recommend it, <laughs> by the way. I just got an idea. Can I have some of your hair? Yeah. Uh, maybe like on a brush or something. Because I feel like I would want to experiment with human hair too. Hey go son, hi! He's so disturbed. It's okay, Ronnie boy. There you go. Jesus Christ, you guys. Hopefully that's enough. We'll see. Okay. So already we got just fur all over the place, that's fine, to be expected. And uh, Bobby graciously gave you some of hers. I feel like that's going to be the best paintbrush, to be honest, because these are all super fluffy. I got some twigs, I have this pen that I just broke open. Obviously if you're trying to make like for real paintbrushes, you might want to look for better quality things. but. I also didn't look up any tutorials or anything, I'm just kind of winging it. <laughs> I've seen a few people make paintbrushes. Uh, I feel like I'm going to regret saying this, but it doesn't look too hard. Alright, so what I'm going to do first is just like get this little tiny piece of masking tape down. So what I'm thinking of doing is um, putting little strands of hair all on the tape and then rolling it up. Like all I got was under fur. It's going to be hard to pick out like s straight fur, if that makes sense. I don't want to just like bunch it all together. There's a few here that look more solid than the rest of the mask. Gosh, Riley, you have a lot of fur. A lot of under fur. Literally the rest of this just looks like fuzz, fluff. Barely anything, but I'm just sticking it on the tape like that. Oh man, it's gonna be a shitty little paintbrush. Wow. And then you have to have glitter glue. Have to be glitter glue. A little stripe of glitter glue right there. And then, should I roll it up now or later, you think? Now, I'll roll, I'll roll it up. Let's hope this works. There we go. That's not bad. Not good. There's something. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Alright. 
right, that's one. Okay, guys, um, I'm recording. It's been it's a different day, as you can see by my nails. Uh, so these these are dry, and I kind of had a hard time getting these to like stay together, but they're they seem to be okay now. <sighs> this is a lot of work to make little paintbrushes. <laughs> that just made a weird mess, but I can work with it. It's fine. It's like a little, there's like a little divot in there, and I'm gonna use um, Luna's fur, and I think I'll trim it too. Um, this is the part that I wanted to use for the brush. It's gonna be like a real thin brush, cause I don't know, I didn't get that much from her, I guess. Okay, kind of stayed in there, so I'm just gonna let it dry. Hope that it doesn't move too much, and then I'll um, go over it again with more tape. Um, I think this is kind of what I wanted, so, okay. Um, they're, they're all pretty much done. So now that this is, like, taped down and stuff, kinda, trying to, trying to escape, so that's okay. Um, I'm gonna make that finger cushion thing with tape. Make it a little thicker. I don't know why, but I feel like it's gonna help. <laughs> Like, you know how kids get those gigantic pencils? Same same kind of thought. They're easier to control, I guess. Okay, so I have most of my paintbrushes made. And now I need to trim them. So now is the moment of truth, I guess. Once I clean off my area. <sighs> I'll sleep later. Okay, well, I, I guess I'll start with Ron since he's like first on the stage. I'm weirdly nervous to wet this. I feel like this can go terribly wrong. I have a little eye dropper thing here of it's just water in here because I don't I don't know if I want to like just dip my whole paintbrush into the water. Gosh I'm nervous. I mean it holds the water really well. <laughs> Oh, it's not so bad. It's not bad. It just kind of feels like a really shitty paintbrush. It's a paintbrush. Although it is really flimsy. And I don't know how well this would work to get details just because like it does not hold its shape at all yeah it's starting to like do something yeah it seems like it'll work for the first coat of paint but after that it just turned into like a big blob <laughs> okay that's that's about it it has a very short lifespan. So that was Ron. And now we. Okay, I did dip this one in water because that's kind of longer bristles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this one doesn't do anything. Zero uses. Doesn't even like. I mean, if I like wipe it on there. But otherwise, nope. That's just a nope. That was kind of sad. I was hoping for a little bit more from that one. And then mountain. I have a feeling this one's gonna be. Like Ron's the worst. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cause she's even softer than he is already. It's not holding its shape very well. And also I broke the stick, so it's just like a little mark with a little nubbin. <laughs> yeah, this is awful.
and it's dead. I never realized how important, like, the stiffness of the bristles are. I'm like, hey! <laughs> I have a feeling these are gonna be really good. Maybe not, let's see. Oh lord. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a little better, but it kind of has the opposite problem that it doesn't soak up any enough liquid, I guess. Yeah, but it's not so bad. works. Not great for details either. But yeah, definitely the winner. I guess that's it. I mean, the moral of the story is that if you ever need to make a paintbrush for whatever reason, use human hair. And never use dog under fur because that does absolutely nothing. So thanks for watching. Thanks for indulging my curiosity. And I'll see you later. Bye!